Number one, putting money into an IRA. All right. Now, it doesn't have to just be an IRA. This could be any kind of investment uh, tax advantaged retirement account. So it could also be a 401k, solo 401k or a SEP IRA. But most people listening to this have access to a traditional or Roth IRA. And then, of course, if you're self-employed, you also have access to a SEP IRA and possibly it's a little, little more complicated, but possibly a solo 401k. When you put money into one of these retirement accounts, like an IRA, what I see a lot of times happen is people say, oh, I don't have the max. I don't have the $6,500 that I need this tax season, so I won't put anything in. Well, let me just point out to you that putting $3,000 into a, a tax advantage retirement account is better than putting in zero, right? So this is a place where, you know, if you can't make it perfect, make it something, right? Do something. I do think it's a good aim for everybody listening to max out at least an IRA every single year. That is a financial habit that builds you wealth. And the more you take it like the gospel, the more it will serve you in giving you long-term financial stability. And last week's episode was all about that. So by all means, go back and listen to that. But if you've got $1,000, that you can put in, put in 1000 right? Because a little bit invested in your retirement is better than nothing, okay? Every time, every single time. 